turret there, and he knows that it will detect him. But he's waiting patiently for the other teammates on that rotation. This is definitely a very patient approach from both sides, and obviously this is gonna benefit uh, the Killjoy, as long as there's uptime on that turret, it's gonna prove to be so, so problematic. As we have PTC here, the first line of contact, just throwing out utility to delay FW as much as they can. But now we have a lone fills, potentially looking for a gunfight. It's still Tearfall going in red hot. Kilua getting one for himself, but suddenly Myth come alive. And F Nation, but Tirapong, this could just be a bit of an overextension. But here we go, the utility is here. He gets one, but that's all he gets. And now he falls back. Very, very smart. But oh, it's not XD. He swings out of the corner. And now Made in Thailand's attack is going to be that much more difficult. Oof, too slow, I would say, for the side of Myth here. They got stuck. And basically, after that pickoff, such a smart left. decision coming in as well from Tirapong right here. Just a one and done, you know? Like. Let's not overheat. Let's not not push further. We're on the defense here. We have to wait. And there's no plan of the spike yet. But so far, it seems like it's still going to be an eight take here. As the lone fills is already on the side. Congrat also helping him out. But with a showstopper coming in, that's not going to be planted at all. Seven seconds to plant the spike. Now with PTC trying to fight for his life. Not more. Not enough. Not enough indeed. My goodness, just one frag to ruin. Folks, not XD trying to get the Prowler out. Not XD trying to get the Prowler out. Still stunned. Kadoom, very much so inside of gravity. Well, right here, but Congar is just keeping things on the loose for the side of FWE Sports. This is 3v5. They planted a spike as well and already ready for that post plant. I'm glad, like, made in Thailand. This is what we expected from them from Showstopper. But once again, Made in Thailand not overextending whatsoever. Playing so, so smart. Oh, and as I say that, I jinx it all to hell as they get cut down where they stand. Alone fails, true to his name. Solo in this 1v4. He sees the shoulder, but Kalua is too fast. And will, once again... And with how Myth is playing, playing really Ooh. slow. And now Kongaret is out. And that's exactly where they have to play slow. FW have been dominating these early fights. Once again, Kadoom could be the victim exactly of a poor my angle. Oh, he man. goes in blind always because of the smoke. Do you think maybe they were trying to set up something, but once again, just that, those small disjoints, it doesn't matter. Alone feels like, you know what, Kadoom? I'll do it myself. I'm a sentinel. I will open up the site the way I would hold it. And now. The Killjoy Lockdown is going to be invested here. They don't know that X Cool is here. This is massive for FW. Their defense, though, getting picked apart yet once again as Beta is too, too sharp. Something that uh, FW have been considering all this time. 2v3, fairly doable, but all the guns are trained on the smoke. Kilua thinks he's clever right now. <laughs> well, Kilua thinks that he's he cannot be seen. And another one bites the dust here as not XD goes down as well. No one HP. It's not gonna happen at all. Both that they've been building up towards. But Myth have responded rapidly. These close angles could potentially be fatal. And Kadoom call it 007. He gets one with the ghost, but that's all they get. Alone still still doing damage. PTC is here. But very, very expensive on the side of FW. Island FW though looking mighty impressive. This is a good test on how they would overcome this situation. As Kadoom just waiting patiently yet again. They have an operator here. Firepower on the side of the three players that we have. And as far as I can consider, FWE Sports, they wouldn't go aggressive and try to beat these players. But with that, Beta is just waiting patiently left. as well. Getting ready and someone is actually waiting on the side. So I'm not quite sure with the, the take coming in from FW Esports here. They might catch them off guard though. You might be right, but that smoke is gonna indicate that everybody's here. Did I say a load bells was quiet? I just had my headphones turned all the way down as even third gets one. And that's a big 4K for a load bills. Made in Thailand. They when it comes to a retake here, but I'm not quite sure when it comes to a push or an aggressive push. Congo Red mm -hmm. to get a double kill. With one man out from their side, it is going to be Beta. They still have an Operator in play here from Kadoom. Not going to be able to get one as they are smoked off right now. Kilua, on the other hand, he will try to go on mid. There's an Alarm Bot there though, so this is just a very readable take for the side of FWE Sports.
Readable indeed. And if Made in Thailand take it here, this is going to be a very big and bold statement. Exactly. As this is the map pick for FW. How are they going to recover is my biggest question. And I guess the panel will answer that for us. And my goodness, that was nearly a cheeky frag through the smoke. As FW, they're really taking their time here. They know that they're walking on thin oh, ice. And Alone Phil is staring, waiting to push them into the void, to push them into the icy waters. And there you go. That could be the map. But Exco, he has to be the hero here. He gets one, but he gets chopped up by Kadoom. On the other hand, it's going to be a five-man retake that we're bound to. It's going to be a five-man retake that we're bound to see. FWE Sports trying to smoke up, but with that smoke, they already saw Tira Pong and his positioning. Just a blind pick off here coming in from the side of Myth. 5v4 situation. They're trying to ping the spike right now. And oh. with that, are rolling thunder to answer back. Try to do the tech where you can jump over the Rolling Thunder, but again, almost frame perfect. And as you prefer the five-man retake, it seems to be working in spades for FW. And made in Thailand. All they have to do is really kill the Diffuser. And my goodness, they steal this round away! Perfect, perfect play from them, FW. Suffering the consequences of rotating out late as they get them. Control the site yet again. There has been no resistance whatsoever. Yep, complete control. Side indeed. Better planning a spike right now, but a blind spike. shot. Indeed. Was able to pick up on Beta. Right now with here. a pain shells coming in. Are they going to be able to plant the spike? Yes, they do. But that means Alone Fields is going to die. Maybe this is a side to take for FW Esports. They were able to take one more down. And yet, PTC is still alive. Ping the spike as he called it. He was able oh. to get a kill, but still not enough to actually punish the remaining three. Good round for FW here, but made it. they keep trying to do it all here. Coming in from Tira Pong, just a pure explosion on the face of Kadoom. He went kaboom right there, but not gonna be another kill for him as he's gone down. 3v4 situation, still a fast take for the side of Myth, but alone feels sneaky moving on towards Sand. A double kill from X Cool 3. X Cool, cold and cool. As a cucumber, as Astra, I would say. Got him is <laughs> bullying him already. Bullying him is the word. I'm kidding, guys. Of course, we all know that Made in Thailand have been bullying FW with their dominant performance. They look to continue that again. A load feels getting really thin on utility here. But once again, positional advantage is still with him. And my goodness, they still can't weed him out. FW, no. they finish it and close the round out, Taylor. Once again, and Tira Pong. With the most narrow windows, gets one, but Kadoom is absolutely popping off. Taking the heads of two FW players. And A has been overrun by Made in Thailand yet again. FW on the ropes. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to contest this because the operator is still in the hands of Kilua. They do have that tour de force as a bit of a contingency if they choose to, once again, aggress on this retake. But Made in Thailand, they look very, very confident still. They try to approach this differently. Try to moving, try to move forward rather, to make sure they punish at least a player for those duelists. But oh Kadu, yet again with a triple already, going for the forty. See, gonna get the ace. Yes, he will. Kadoom goes kaboom, and as Kadoom will get that spike down, and a crossfire already has been set up on the site. Oh, lead shots by Kadoom doesn't get a second. It's Kalua getting value off this tour de force, but he has to lead the march on this retake. Can you find yet another one? Maybe, just maybe, a little more patience can benefit him. It does whiz by. He has 70 health and quite a few bullets still left in the headhunter. And now it's all up to Conga Red. He gets one. He gets the last one. He's sticking at the next goal. He doesn't crumble. He still gets killed at the la very last moment. But I guess carried over from Haven is that they had a good start, but somehow the fall. Hello? Whoa. First of all, that was an ex first of all, that was an expected. And second, the two duelists just got dismantled for the side of mid esports. Maybe this is the comeback that we're all waiting for. Don't want to jinx it, jinx it, but Kilua about to find someone here. It's going to be Congared. He goes down. It's a 4v2 situation. The smokes has been uh, dissipated basically and they don't have any smokes at all. Not at all as they will have to try and take as much contact win as many duels the good old-fashioned way. Now I know how FW Esports can win. Kill the two duelists and it's done. Yes. <laughs>
go. Absolutely. When you kill everybody on the other yeah, team, when you, you frag might them win. Out, yes. My goodness. I mean, it's a 5v5 game. You we know? are breaking through barriers of science exactly. here, guys. That top tier analysis that you got Absolutely. right here in the Invitational. <laughs> but honestly, the pickoffs here, especially if you are able to shut down alone fills and Kadoom immediately, it's going to be really difficult for the three remaining three members left. here for the side of mid. But seems like they want to take on a side. Fault lines after fault lines and facials and blinds. But still, no interaction at all. Oh dear. They have 17 seconds, but the number is, as you mentioned, just too much to have. Thunder, no one in sight, but aside from that, Kadoom is already on Sands here. After Shock, trying to punish the players, trying to move them away, and making that space is not the, what they're gonna do. Kilowatt to get one here, but yet again, a trade. The showstopper connects the two people. Now with Dirapong using a page shells here, and he was able to take on the triple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and that. At the exact same round in the previous game, the Kilua will best Kadoom in that fight. The trades are going Fight in both uh, for the teams. Tira Pong on a bit of a flank, but a load fills will certainly pepper him with bullets. Still a pretty even game here. Not XDNX will have Vandals. Last player. Oh my goodness, this is going really, really evenly as Beva will play the slower long con here. X cool. He's going for elevation. He just wants to perch like a hawk. Trying to get a bird's eye view on the situation. But my goodness, the timing of Beta is just so, so sharp. It seems that the adjustment speed that FW is trying to achieve is fear. hitting so many roadblocks, so many bumps in the road. Time It's Marges to conquer Conger Red, who's been absolutely on fire. Five. And alone fills. He gets one. That's all he gets, though, is Tirapong trying to save this for his teammates. It need to be seen before Kilua will cut him down. Without those utilities, but still, this will give them the confidence to do so. Tirapong, a little bit stuck here, and he goes down in the hands of Congrad as well, going oh. for the third. Now with a fourth, and maybe Fight another ace, but a. not anymore as Alone feels secure. And my memory might be a little hazy here, as there's been a lot to, to play, digest in this game. Play. FW, they have one more chance, Since really. Running. He is running, but Alone Fills is here to start the fire and even Spike trade so down, far. But they still have a few ults up their sleeves, at least for FW. Too aggressive, completely shut down. But you know what? It could have worked as well for the side of Myth. But in any way, Congaret spots another. Going for the second, it's not going to connect this time around. It's still a 2v2 here, but in a fair play as they followed up, or rather picked up those Vandals and Phantoms as well. Or rather Vandals that we are seeing right now. They have the spike on their hand and PVC. The problem remains, they don't have any info. They're gonna have even less as this orbital strike is gonna cover the cross momentarily. Now they have to guess where are they gonna be attacking from. PTC and Beta, they're gonna pinch everybody in. This is gonna be a... Oh. Tira Pong. Almost so, so close to getting bonked by their own rolling thunder. But once again, this is fairly nerve wracking for FW. They have to win that initial trade. And my goodness, Deerpong gets one. All up to beta. Is he going to stick this? That Molly's only going to last for so long. But oh my goodness, they managed to dance around the flames and marges. Just any corner, really. Tirapong, once again, you did mention that every time they had the showstopper, they found quite a bit of success, and despite the travel time, PTC still gets clocked in the face by said showstopper. Spike and now alone, fills. he's made himself very, very comfy in Sans here, looking to pressure door just a little bit. But this could be pretty much death for him. He still has a boom bot and a, quite a bit of utility. Kilua manages to escape with his life. Beta's here for the trades. Alone fills makes this even more favored towards Made in Thailand. And now Kilua has to be a hero. The last person alive, alone fills from behind. We'll chop him straight in half. Thanks. And now Made in Thailand. They are gonna take the series. Make sure he's dead, because he could potentially turn into a zombie. That, that's a secret mechanic, guys. I'm pretty sure. Not even continuing the defuse right now, but finally closing things off. Made in Thailand, making this series a clean 2-0. There was just too much happening on the 